in the opening tip. UMBC going right to left as we start, as we call it here, courtside. And UMBC will get the ball first on offense. The number five seed coming into the tournament. This is one of those games you never really say it's an upset, whoever wins in one of these contests. Kurowski tries to go and low to Aaron Brown. How many times have you said that in her career? As Aaron Brown gets the first two points. From side pass to Morgan Frame can't get the first one to fall. Frame gets the offensive rebound in traffic, has it ripped away by Aaron Brown. Good defense from UMBC. Chase ahead to Coles. Now to Kurowski, the three. Excuse me, Aaron Brown for three. Puts it in. What a touch. I mean, that's what UMBC looks for. They just love to bomb those threes. And it with, uh, excuse me, UNH with the basketball down by seven after UMBC scored the first seven points of this game. Kick out back to Kerry Reed, who has just checked in for Gaston. That was the original starter. Now inside, it's Abigail LaRosa gets the first two for UNH. Again, UMBC's defense has been terrific the last two minutes. Hogan steps back for a three and puts it in. Kelsey Hogan, a nice step back shot. three. Not exactly what they wanted as the shot clock was winding down, but they'll take it. And, and I'm sure he... Oh. Well, underneath is Kristen Coles on the feed from Aaron Brown. Counted and a foul. Oh, Kristen Coles, a strong up move and puts it in. By eight is UMBC with their largest lead of the afternoon. They started with a 7-0 lead in this game. Inside frame, the little right-hand runner in the lane puts it in. Pretty comes into the front court. Coming up on four minutes to go, UMBC with a 20-15 advantage. They go to Beliveau, who will step out for that three. Beliveau from downtown is Ovajolu. Lost her scouting report, and yeah. Beliveau makes her pay. You can't. As she now has five for UNH. UMBC now with just a two-point advantage. Obajolu, the 17-footer. You bet. How about that one from Tope Obajolu with an answer? She said, you scored on me. Now I'm going to score on you. Jolu, she just hit a shot from there before. Will she take it again? Alex not to. Brown, though, will take it from 16 and puts it in. And now a timeout called by Phil Stern as we've gone back and forth all of a sudden. Sabellavo being guarded by Kristen Cole. She's got a height advantage over Coles. Kelly Flynn making her first appearance. Left side, Gaston the three. Another answer is UNH cuts it to a one-point game. And kind of looks intimidating under there when you're driving to the basket. Did you ever have anyone that was six foot five when you were playing that just kind of altered your shots? I did, but they were on my team, so I was lucky. <laughs> Kristen Coles with the steal goes all the way down and puts in the layup, and UMBC takes the lead back. It's 26-25. Basketball. They get it in to Ariel Gaston. The UNH men's team will take on Albany, by the way, in that game tomorrow. Now the three by Hogan puts it in. Kelsey Hogan from downtown. And the game is tied at 36, the first tie of the game. And Talked about it off air to me. UMBC very balanced scoring with Aaron Brown with 15-12 from Kristen Coles and 10 by Obajolu. Now Kurowski trying to get going. She hits the three as well. And 147, UMBC with the lead and the ball. Chase with it on the right wing. They are playing off per Kurowski. Dump underneath to Obajolu. What a pretty pass once again from Michelle Kurowski. Nice. Posting up. Now goes over to Lauren Chase. The runner with the right hand puts it in and ties the game yet again at 57. The third tie in this game. And now Maureen McGarity with 37.2 seconds left calls a timeout as UNH gets into the front court. They'll take a full 60 second timeout. Look on the shot clock for Lauren Chase. Chase still dancing. Backdoor cut to Kurowski. Makes a great catch in traffic. They called a foul with 1.3 to go as Michelle Kurowski drawing contact. And Maureen McGarity cannot believe it. Wow. Up <laughs> with Kurowski on the line. He's 85% from the free throw line. Kurowski with just seven points in this game and banks in the first free throw off the friendly bounce. Kurowski. She has struggled, really listen, look for a shot in this game, and now a timeout called by UNH. Found the glass that UMBC can't get a rebound. Kurowski knocks down both. Here we go with 1.3. UNH has got to go the full court of the court. Obadolu with the steal, and that's it. UMBC, two big defensive plays to end this game, and UMBC will go back to the American East semifinals like they did just a year ago. Wow.